In this video, I'd like to talk about multiplying and dividing complex numbers when they're in polar form. And in previous videos, we derived formulas for graphically multiplying or dividing complex numbers. And the essential idea when multiplying complex numbers is that we multiply the magnitudes and we add the angles. While when we divide complex numbers, we divide the magnitudes and we subtract the angles. So to work through these problems, let's make a little bit of space and let me paste in the formulas for graphically multiplying or dividing complex numbers. And we can see with these formulas that if we start with two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, written in their polar form with their magnitude and their direction, then when they multiply, we multiply their magnitudes and we add their angles. And when we divide, we divide their magnitudes and we subtract their angles. So let's apply these two formulas to the two example problems here. And for this top one, we are using division. We have W1 over W2. And we will divide the magnitudes. We have 60 divided by 10. And we will subtract the angles. So we have the cosine of 30 minus 45, which would be negative 15 degrees. And we have I multiplied by the sine of that same angle minus 15 degrees. And of course, we can simplify this. The new magnitude would be 6. And the new direction, the new angle of this quotient here would be negative 15 degrees. And again, that's measured relative to the positive real number axes. And of course, if we want, we can write this in rectangular form by distributing the 6 and then simplifying. But Polar form tells us our magnitude of this new complex number and the direction of the new complex number. Or in other words, we have the modulus and the argument. Remember, those words can be used as well. Modulus for magnitude or absolute value and argument for the angle or the direction of the complex number. And for the second problem, we are multiplying W1 times W2, where we have different expressions for both W1 and W2. And when multiplying, remember that we multiply the two moduli, or the magnitudes of these complex numbers. And we would have 4 multiplied by 2 here. And we add the angles. We have the cosine of 225 plus 180. And let me write all of this out. And when we add these angles, we will get something bigger than 360 degrees. So we can actually just subtract 360 from the sum to find an angle between 0 and 360, which is typically how we will write it. So if we add these two angles together, we find that the sum is 405 degrees. And like I mentioned, we will just subtract 360 from that to get an angle of 45 degrees. So this angle will be in the first quadrant. And this quotient here will just be eight multiplied by the cosine of 45 degrees plus I times by the sine of 45 degrees. So this product, when multiplying these two complex numbers, will give us a new complex number. We can call it W3 if we want, where the magnitude of this complex number is 8 and its angle, its argument, relative to the positive real axis is 45 degrees. And one way to check these is to convert everything to rectangular form, carry out the multiplication or division using that arithmetic, and compare it to the answers we got here. And in both cases, we should get the exact same answers, though admittedly that path of checking is a little bit tedious but it can be done. 